When you challenge the liberal mind virus, the stupid political ideology that the left holds on to for dear life, and if you dare give one smidgen of pushback on it, they freak the F out. They stomp their feet. They pound the walls with their fists. They spittle comes out of their mouth and they scream to high heaven. Well, they scream to high something. They don't believe in heaven for the most part. And even if they do, it's not the heaven in I believe in and you believe in. Middle schoolers, USA Rebellion at Pride event causes libs to melt down. So as, a kid, as a kid's now say nowadays, these middle schoolers are based. And by that, I mean that they did something that sent shockwaves through a local Massachusetts community, stunned the local school board, and sent the liberal media into meltdown mode. There you go. Marshall Simmons Middle School in Burlington, Massachusetts, just outside of Boston, saw an LGBTQ Batman symbol event wrecked by pronoun rebellion. Pride flags were destroyed, allegedly, and chants of USA rang throughout the school. To be more surprised, they were chanting, My pronouns are USA. While decked out in patriotic colors, the event caused some local school board members to lose sleep over the incident, which proves that some people in the community need to go outside and touch some grass. Touch it. I'd go outside and touch some grass right now, but there's a big ass storm for the last couple days coming rolling through here like thunder, literally. So I'm not going to be touching grass today. Now the LGBTQ Batman mob is pushing to punish these kids for exercising their constitutional right to free speech and expression. Notice how when the left, when they want to go outside and violently protest and burn down a city, that's okay. The minute kids go out there and do the same thing without the violence and without the burning, without the destruction, they go insane. <laughs> So, so Nancy Bonacera, a co-chair of Burlington Equity Coalition, you know what side of the political spectrum that son of a gun or daughter of a gun lives on. Said that the students were invited to wear rainbow clothing on June 2nd in celebration of Pride Month. Case in point, were invited to wear rainbow clothing. No, no, no. Understand, they weren't just invited to wear rainbow clothing. They were what the army called um, mandatory fun day. They said, hey, we're going to have a mandatory fun day. Well, I don't want to go. No, you don't seem to understand. It's mandatory fun. You show up and you look like you're having fun. Regardless if you're having fun or not, we don't care. You got to be there or mandatory fun runs. There's, no, there's nothing fun about running ever. I don't care. There isn't. So this, we were, they were invited. No, they said, you will wear rainbow clothing or else. That was it. And I guess the kids in their, you know, small brains of mush decided to go, nah, I don't think so. And so the base savages out there decided to do wear black patriotic colors and run through the hall saying my pronouns are USA. God effing speed, good young children. On that same day, there was a counter demonstration in response to what should have been a day to celebrate. No, 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 no. Again, you're forced by the barrel of a, I guess, I, we don't even say that. I'd say you're forced at mass detention or mass suspension or even ex expulsion to wear pride clothing and celebrate or else. That's the key point. There is no, you can't just voluntarily just go, hey kids, just go and wear it. No, they were like, you do it or else. I guarantee goddamn tea, that's how it was shown to these kids. And these kids were like, nah, I don't think so. Students wore red, white, and blue clothing and enchanted by pronouns you would say and destroyed rainbow decorations at school. Wah! So fucking what? Deal with it. Not everybody adheres or aspires to your stupid bullshit political ideology wrapped in rainbow coloring. F you to the maximum degree, you scumbag lib progs, piece of human trash. Go F yourself forever, which you probably will. The coalition is calling for consequences 
Oh, like what? Death? Destruction? What consequences could there be? Expulsion? Suspension? Detention? What is it? They were exercising their First Amendment right, which, by the way, still applies to fucking children. Don't fuck children. Uh, for the students who participate in the counter protest and is urging the district to fill a diversity, equity, inclusion role that they say has been vacant for almost a year. So the select school board member, Michael Espejo, said a bad light has been cast over our town. No, I think the kids had enough. They had enough of your fucking bullshit. I was very upset. I've lost sleep over it. Espeo said about the incident, I'm kind of shocked to my core. I think it was Burlington. Well, it did. Suck it up and drive on, you scumbag, liberal piece of human garbage. F you. <clears throat> Anyways, Burlington School Committee Chair Martha Simon condemned the incident at the meeting Tuesday night, but declined any specifics on disciplinary action, stressing the offenders were mere eighth graders. Quoting, Middle school should be a safe place where all students express themselves, except anyone right of Pol Pot, Lennon, and Stalin. There, I fixed it for you, stupid bitch. To make, the, makes, to make mistakes and learn from each other. These kids who protested against this did not make a mistake. They had enough, like I've had enough, like everyone else who's had enough of this fucking bullshit. They get a whole month for pride? Last time I checked in the Bible or any other place, having there's a certain amount of pride someone should have in what they do. Pride in your marriage. Pride in your work. Pride in your schoolwork. But to go further than that, which Pride Month evidently is, that's wrong and you shouldn't do it. We're just putting these scumbags on a freaking pedestal. And we're, we're told by the barrel of a gun, this time, of course, that if you don't give these people prideful exhalation, that you should be beaten to death. That's what they want you to think. Which, by the way, as far as I can tell right now, that doesn't happen. But make no mistake, if these liberal progressive piece of human garbage want this done onto you and anybody right of Pol Pot, Lenin, and Stalin. Anyone, any dissent is not accepted, especially on Pride Month. This, oh my God. But a room full of parents, mostly of LGBTQ Batman kids, argued that the school officials needed to take a stronger stand and use the incident as a teaching moment, refuting the notion that overt pride displays are somehow not appropriate for school. No, no, no. They are not. Stop teaching kids this. Start teaching kids, I don't know, economics. How to balance a checkbook. History. The correct history. Not this liberal progressive bullshit that you peddle as DEI and inclusivity to all. Mm. Doing something publicly or within your line of vision, like wearing rainbows or flying a pride flag, just not showing it, shoving it down your throat, parent of Sarah Colley said at the meeting Tuesday night. In the latter part, more than a few NF, uh, NHL players felt differently regarding the rainbow flags and the rainbow gang, if you will, the mob. Get over it. Not everyone has to do, be on this bandwagon. Second, they're kids. They will do these things to get the rise out of adults. It's what they do at this age. Agreed. So before we send these youngsters to re-education re camps and subject them to electro-shock th therapy for something where no laws were broken, simmer down, deal with it, hurt your feelings, and somewhere the hell else, and get back to your lives. Yes. You see, you see folks out there, I don't care how you live your life. Matter of fact, you can live in a polyamorous marriage if you want. You could bang 18 dudes and share monkeypox through your clan of LGBTQ Batman symbol wearing pride flag doddering douchebags. I don't care. But the minute you say you do this or else we're going to suspend you, arrest you, put you in a re-education camp, that's 
where I draw the fucking line. And that's where these kids drew the line. Good for them. Good for them. And I'm glad you're giving these liberal douchebags out there, I guess, sleepless nights where they have to wake up and go, I can't believe they tore down bright flags and ripped up stickers. <laughs> Good. Fuck you. You liberal pieces of shit. Go fuck yourself. I'm so sick and tired of this shit. I'm a simple man, okay? And I don't like to be pushed. When you tell me I have to do something and I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it. But you see right now, I think I talked about this before. It was Cass Sunstein. This is, this is basically liberal, libertarian paternalism. A very simple concept. Now, the libertarian part is simple. It's, hey, you can kind of do what you want. There's still laws, but you can still do what you want. You know, as long as you're not, you know, breaking into people's houses, you're not stealing people's property, you're not telling people what they can and can't do, et cetera, et cetera. You get it. The paternalism pro part is the problem. And so what the Cass Sunstein and libertarian paternalism is basically this. They're saying, hey, you must support, you must, uh, support and defend Pride Month. No, nah, I don't want to do it. Well, if you don't do it, uh, we'll just fine you, you know, $5 a day. You can do what you want. Matter of fact, please do what you want, but you will be paying a fee $5 a day because you're not supporting Pride Month. That's what libertarian paternalism is. It's basically saying, well, you can do what you want, but we're going to force you, force your actions and force your demeanor in a certain way. And if you don't like it, well, tough crap. And if you don't pay the, if you don't pay that fine, well, we'll just arrest you and jail you. And then hopefully during that jail time, you'll understand the errors of your ways. That's what these liberal scumbags want and make no bones about it. I detest. If you're a liberal out there, out there, hello, you liberal out there. I detest your existence. I do. I'm sorry. Just like you detest my existence. And this is for the, I, I think I think well, well, what I'm about to say, or I, what I have been saying, is I would have to think that YouTube and its censorious means are going to look at this and go, oh, this is messed up. I don't care. Good. Put a strike against me. I'll go silent for its on you know YouTube for you know 30 days, and I'll come back on. These people on the left want nothing but the worst for you and your family. This is case in point. The minute you push back, the minute you show any sort of dissent, they come after you. Case in point, uh, Donald Trump. Anybody in the government right now that says whistleblowers, oh, we the FBI says no, we can't, uh, we can't guarantee your safety. But I get information I might throw Joe Biden in jail. No, 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 can't, can't, can't protect you. Sorry. Thank you. Goodbye. Make no mistake about it, folks. This act of defiance is a good thing. This is what we all should be doing. I'm not telling you what you should be doing specifically, but take cues from these kids right here. They showed you that it takes very little pushback, a smidgen of pushback against these leftist douchebags. And what happened? They lost their fucking mind. Keep pushing back, folks, because it's going to take a lot more pushback to silence these scumbags that want to silence you.